gardening with soul in the land of El Sol. And um, we're doing a little bit of moving around of stuff in the garden because uh, we're rearranging things because that's what people do. We rearrange stuff, right? And what you're looking at is a big old matate where they used to grind things. And this was a traveling matate. Not that they traveled with it, but some of the native tribes were um, migratory and they'd move two or three times a year, summer camp, winter camp. And along the way, of course, you, you stopped along the way and something like this matate would be there to um, help you grind your corn at the temporary camp that's halfway between the two. So, why do I have it? Um, it, it is illegal to um, move things off of uh, public lands or especially tribal lands, but my friend uh, Richard Falger of blessed memory had gotten this from the Seri tribes down in Mexico and um, it was when he was down there working on a book and they told him the stories about it and stuff and they said, oh no, you know, we buy the cornmeal at the supermarket now. They still grind things, but um, he said, yeah, yeah, if you like it, you should, you should have it, Richard. So um, he was known as the man who cuts the heads off plants. Anyway, um, so I was house-sitting for him, and when he moved to a new location, um, he said, oh, I, you, can, you can have that. I'm not going to move it. And we're going to move it today, and it weighs about 90 pounds. Now... A sack of cement is 90 pounds. I could lift it. That would be the hardest way to move it. It would be to use my muscles to pick that up and move it. It's about 25 yards to where I want it to go. So next best is, is lift it up, get it in a wheelbarrow, and wheel the wheelbarrow over there, and then get it out of the wheelbarrow. Um, that's not actually the best option. But let's go look at the wheelbarrows. Now you could pick that nice big matate up and move it in a wheelbarrow. You have to pick it up high enough to get into the wheelbarrow and um, the single wheel wheelbarrows are kind of tippy. Sitting right next to the single wheeled wheelbarrow is a double wheeled wheelbarrow. And that is much more stable, but it's also deeper. So. It's still quite the chore to get the um, rock up high enough to get into a wheelbarrow, and then you gotta wheel it over. And let's go see the easy option. Okay, so what I am here is holding the best option for moving. Oh, like barrel cactus, little saguaros, and rocks. It's a snow shovel. And I won this, oh, about a decade ago um, from Corona Tools. They came here, they had an exhibition at the end. You know, you put your name in to win the tools, and I won a snow shovel. And uh, Chris said, what are you going to do with a snow shovel in Tucson, Arizona? And I said, oh, don't worry. I'll show you what we do with a snow shovel in Arizona. And you can see it's scraped up. I've used this many a time. So I'm um, going to get that matate up on this snow shovel and pull it. See how easy that is? I'm gonna go over. So this is where we're coming to. Um, this is still a work in progress. It's still underway, but um, this little thing here is another interesting matate from my friend um, Richard Felger. And um, I think he bought it in a market. I don't, I don't think he actually um, found it anywhere. So I don't know the exact provenance, but I'm gonna have my two matates over here. And then the background here is 
Mr. Barrel Cactus that was moved from elsewhere in the land. And where Mr. Barrel Cactus is growing was once thin air. We've been moving a lot of soil around our land. And um, he's just a, he's really happy. It was the biggest barrel I've ever moved. And I'm so glad it worked. So we're gonna move that matate. And there we have it. We are done. Me and my trusty snow shovel. Yippee! Uh, basically, um, dragging it along, I do have to say, uh, I hit rock on the, on the ground every now and then, and it would try to jump out of the shovel. But I did it. And um, I do have to also say that, you know, I originally say, oh, 75, 80 pounds. Um, I think it was close to 125. And um, by the time it was done, it felt like 200. Even if you're just dragging it and not lifting it, that's a heavy rock in. So anyway, the whole point of that, this little video is to work smart, not hard. Gardening with soul in the land of El Sol. Thanks for watching.